Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we are carrying on with the Scarbrand campaign, and it is Scarbrand's turn to take his turn. It It is insane. I can't believe our empire has gotten so big. And, like, we have so many armies that I go entire episodes without even moving the legendary lord of this campaign. Like, it's crazy. I don't think I've ever had this happen in a campaign before. Um... Like, so consistently, at least. Like, I know there's been times where we've had a bunch of battles lined up, but, like, it's every time. And then I just have, literally, episodes in a row where I'm doing nothing but moving Scarbrand. Because he won't stop. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's a crazy campaign. Probably, probably one of the most fun mechanics, honestly. Just, yeah, Korn's mechanics are brilliant. I love them. They are so thematic, and they just lead to the most unique experiences. Which you don't really get with any of the other ones. All the other ones are quite straightforward. It's, you know, paint the map, slowly conquer, spread your empire, uh, do the objectives, Bob's your uncle. But yeah, Scarbrand. Crazy escalation. It's really fun. Absolutely adore it. So uh, we're going to attack this one first. It's going to bring this army in, which will help us spread with the rest of our folks. So I think that's the way to do it. I do actually want to check. Uh, I can't go to diplomacy by double clicking them. Uh, 11 settlements for the northern provinces. The western only have 5. So 11 provinces, guys. We're going to have to count down. So. Scarborough. So these guys, remember, are on their way to Jadewin Mountain. They can take out the other stuff down here. Not a problem. Should be fine. So this guy reinforcing should get mostly murdered. So, obviously, I could just avoid the hassle, but I know that if anyone is going to have a hassle and be capable of resolving said hassle, it's going to be Scarbrand. So, I think this is the best way to um, take out an additional army and give my blood hosts uh, an easier time conquering everything else. So, let's do it. So, what's really insane so far is uh, last episode. Still this turn. God, what is with your guys' formations? Oh, you can actually go that way. Oh, cool. In that case, yeah, I guess we'll go that way. I mean, that's where reinforcements are coming, but that means I'll run straight into Scarbrand. That sounds perfect. Yeah, you guys have fun. Oh. Oh, it's because they're vanguarded over there. Interesting. Tell you what, let's, um... <laughs> He'll be fine on his own. Okay, let's do that. You guys can charge up that way. Uh, so what's interesting about this turn already is that um, we've already defeated Carl Franz and Sardina Catherine, and it looks like this turn, I say this, it's going to be this turn, maybe not this episode, honestly, but Miao Yin is within reach as well. So in a single turn, we might take out three of the, you know, the, the sort of biggest figures for the forces of order on this campaign map. Because obviously, you know, no Lizardman or, um, uh, or, or Wood Elves. Well, there are some Wood Elves, but no proper ones. And yeah, so no Elves. Just Let's just say no Elves. No important Elves. Are you going to do the thing? There you are. Okay, it took a little while there. I was getting worried. But yeah, no important Elves anywhere. And no Lizardmen. So it's, um, you know, it's a bit of a funny one. Not ha ha funny. Ow. Rude. Alright, let's get them too. I mean, they're real spread out. Our enemies are real spread out. But then I guess we were quite spread out across this whole area, weren't we? So it makes sense. Also, just... Oh, look at this. Just... Look at that. It's stunning. Absolutely stunning. So good. It just really, like... It just nails the atmosphere. It really does. Alright, how are you guys doing? Alright, buff everybody. Uh, let's get a bloodthirster out here. Because, you know, that'll be a giggle, won't it? Sure will. Alright, here's a bloodthirster. Where's he going? Maybe chase down that guy? Nah, well, we'll fight these, these folk. Yes, I'm throwing him straight at anti-large units, but he's disposable and he hits like a truck. The chances of him actually being killed? Uh, ooh, 40 seconds. Do I want to wait around for 40 seconds? Not really. Yeah, the chances of him actually being killed in the time it takes for the, you know, for the 
summon to wear off. Like, yeah, it, it doesn't matter. We can send him at anything. Anything we want dead, we'll throw him at it. Okay, let's summon some more folks in here. Uh, let's pin him in place as well. You know, it's a funny joke. Yeah, they're trying to flee. Okay. Let's get rid of you guys. Yeah, that's going well. Uh, yeah, okay, it looks like these guys are terrified and pinned in place. Netting folks that you know are going to run away is so satisfying. Because it lets you just annihilate the unit while they're stuck there. Rather than doing that annoying thing where you're just chasing them for ages and none of your units are landing any hits. You know the one. We've all been there. Hey. How are you not doing? God, I love the exalted bloodthirsters. Just the flames on the sword. Such a simple way to denote that it's like a better unit. But that's all that's needed. Uh, boom. Okay, you lot can break this barricade. Or at least you can attempt to do it. Okay, brilliant. We're going to be fighting the shadow of the mountain here, which is going to be a bit annoying. That's okay. Okay, I want to get Scarbrand around here. And then I want to breathe fire on these jugs. Okay, let's see if we can't hit him. Are uh, you going to be able to do it? Oh, yep. Sure is. I... Okay, I just found out that that's broken. I caught him mid-animation, so I was able to queue up another instance of that ability. I didn't know that was a thing. That's very funny to me. Because uh, I don't like I don't like exploiting the game. I tend to try and play within the spirit of the game. Unless I'm specifically going, look how broken this pile of crap is. <laughs> Alright, never that harsh. But usually I do go, this is the thing I'd like fixed. Look at this. See this thing that you can do? I'd like this fixed. That, I had no idea we could do. Very rare I bump into an exploit like that. Alright, this is all going well. I really can't see what's going on in here. It's quite dark. Which is very surprising. Very rare that this happens. The uh, the lighting in this game is so much better than the previous game. In sort of underground areas. In Warhammer 2, I was always uh, sort of bumping into... Oh, there's actually cavalry there. I didn't realize they were actually in combat. The banner was far away. Yeah, I uh, always had problems seeing stuff. It was always so difficult to see things. But Warhammer 3 does a lot better job of actually making the lighting decent. Like, when it's dark, it does sort of Hollywood darkness. Where just the lighting, sort of, uh, the warmth of the lighting changes to make it feel like nighttime without actually just making it pitch black. You know, it's nighttime as if, like, I don't know, as if your eyes had adjusted to it. Which is how you would be seeing it, you know? And it might just do that very well. Which is, I guess, why this is a bit awkward to see, because this is the main lighting, and this just happens to be a shadow of a big mountain. So, you know. Ow. Rude. Yeah, looks like army loss is about to hit. We haven't really lost much, have we? No, not really. Not really. It's not what this army does. This army doesn't lose much. No, no. It wins. It's all it does. Wins for days. Alright, jobs are good. Uh, unfortunately, I want more replenishment, so I'm going to do Blood for the Blood God again. Brilliant. Now this one, we already have an army right next to it, so I'm actually going to be... Uh... Wow, yeah, we have so much movement left. And there's still this here. Jeez. But anyway, um, yeah, for this one we will just do uh, Skulls for the Skull Throne, because I just want more Skulls, because we will actually want to take over something at some point, and we will need the additional Skulls. So there is that. Uh, this one we should be able to take over no problem, because we have the additional army here. So we're going to auto-resolve that one. Jesus, we lost so many. 
Unbelievable. But anyway, scales of the scale throne. And we've got the glittering scales. Lovely. Love, do love my scales to glitter. Love it. Alright, so we have all these other armies that were coming in to smash things. I think Scarbrand might destroy everything before they get there. I don't think all of these armies are going to be able to keep pace with Scarbrand. Actually, I say that. These guys will be able to do something. And that's good. That's very good news. Uh, so he's in March stance. So they're all going to be tired. And that is such an easy army to kill. So we might actually take them out. First. And I can Lightning Strike as well. Alright, I'm going to get rid of this. Uh, ooh, yeah, hmm. Instead of thought, I could leave that for, for the blood hosts, and I could actually hop into here, come out here, destroy that rift, destroy that, run back, destroy the mines of Nanyang, and continue on. Or, I guess I could just use the rift to gain more movement anyway, and I can just destroy all this stuff regardless. That's also a thing. So I think I'm going to get rid of this rift before it starts spewing out more enemies for me to fight. So, close the rift. Decisive victory, uh, low casualties. Do I trust it? Is this going to get me some replenishment? Because I do kind of need the replenishment. Oh, I don't want to have to fight literally every battle. So I think that gave us a mild profit. Maybe. Maybe just about. My god, we could reach a long way. Uh, Wen Chang's right there as well. Oh no. I think we're going to destroy that on the way, aren't we? Yeah, I think I might go boom, boom, boom. Although I would like to destroy Nangao before I take on Miao Yin. Because I don't want to end up here. Although if I end up here, I can then hit that, which will spring me further in, right? So I don't think it matters. It means I'm either attacking the mines of Nanyang or I'm attacking this in order to get to there and I'll just I'll go for whatever other target on the way back and that should do the job. So first off, let's attack this army. I'm going to lightning strike so it's just these guys so we can get the uh, movement bonus straight away. And the replenishment as well. Only 2%, that's fine. And, uh, oh no, it put us in range. So now we're going to bounce off that way. Oh, that might have thrown us off our groove, guys. That might have thrown us off our groove. Also, I'm not going to get medium casualties. That would be ridiculous, so we are forced to fight this one again. All right. So, where are we? We're all squeezed into this corner. Well, isn't that lovely? Uh, let's get you lot loaded up. And uh, all you lot. Uh, yeah. Good. I guess. Done. In you get, boys. In you get. Now let's start summoning some nonsense. Strength through sacrifice. Yeah, strength through anything is good, honestly. Yo, my beard's getting really itchy. Need a shave, guys. Need a shave. Anyone else with a beard? You know, it just gets that annoying length where it's just itchy for a bit. And you could grow it more and then it won't be itchy. Or you could shave it. You know? Either one. Well, I just got to that stage. Is my beard's really bothering me. Oh, that's Jade Warriors. That's Jade Warriors. That's Jade... Is everything Jade Warriors? Maybe they are all Jade Warriors. Oh, are these the Celestial Dragon Crossbowmen? There we go. I love being able to hit them early. Oh, we're in already. Jesus. You guys do not hang about, do you? No, you don't. Alright, see if you can shoot something. I don't know if you're actually going to do it or not. <laughs> well, you knackered that Minotaur. Well done. Well done, guys. Well done. Flippin' egg. Well, they're all climbing up. I don't see the point of them doing that anymore. Really. But, uh, well, they are, so... We're just gonna have to live with that. Aren't we, fellas? You know what? Maybe you can come over here. Maybe you can just run in. You're exalted and everything. It'd be great to have you in. Come join the party. 
Yeah, it seems to be going well. I'd love some magic. A bit of magic would be lovely. That's one thing I do miss. That's one thing I, I do really miss in this campaign. Like, all the summons are really cool. They do fill a very similar spot in terms of gameplay, you know, the different spells and abilities and stuff. They fill a similar role. But, I don't know, it's just... It's just not the same as just demolishing, like, swathes of enemies in one swoop. But I guess it's not so bad. Oh, okay, yeah. Summon, ran out. Okay, let's get you up here. And Minotaurs can run over there. You guys can run over here. Run into them. And yep, yep, this is how it's done. Cecil Dragon Crossbowman. They're really light on their feet, aren't they? Very dainty. Love it. Alright, well, keep chasing them, guys. Don't, don't let up for a second, alright? Oh, we have more summons. Boop. God, look at this. I love how Scarbrand just solos basically everything. Just no problems whatsoever. Just does not care. Oh, there we go. He's killing some more. Alright, let's, let's do more damage, please. And, alright, you can charge up that way. I mean, Minotaur's have a great time, by the looks of things. You guys are exalted. You guys need to get in here and get some work done, alright? I don't pay you to sit around. Do I even pay them? Who can say? Yeah, it looks like army loss is about to hit. Oh, maybe not, actually. Maybe not. Yep. Yeah, it is. Cool. There we go. Just uh, one, one more time to admire the scenery. Terrific. Terrific. I love Cathay. I love Cathay. Looks amazing. Looks so good. Decisive victory. Terrific. Uh, so we got a bunch of skulls out of that. We're actually getting a lot of skulls from our, our battles, which is nice. Um, so I think I will actually go blood for the blood god so I can get the big replenishment. That's really what we're after over here. Now, we can reach Wan Chang. Thank Christ for that. Thank Corn. Thank Corn. we could reach that. Because seriously, I thought that was going to completely screw me, being, like, forced to bounce that way. It's still not great, to be honest. It's, it's not the best, but this does get us back on track. And, uh, yeah, we can just reach it. Good. Uh, so this one, again, we are going to have to fight it, because I need to get the maximum amount of replenishment. I know, it's a pain, but we are about to fight Miao Yin, so, you know. And here we are. Oh, I love it. Also, does this work better? Oh yeah, it does. Oh, marvellous. So, um, I haven't really been able to look down here, any of the cool stuff. Wow, look at that. So cool. Because uh, it was repulsive. The mist effects uh, just destroyed frame rates. Like, so badly. It's still not perfect, but God, it's so much better than before patch 1.1. I mean, we get to actually see this now. Like, how gorgeous is this? I mean, just, just stunning. Absolutely stunning. Love it. But yeah, every time I, I saw this, my frame rate would just collapse. It's horrible. So, you lot one group, you lot two group, you group three group. And, oh, I guess you're going that way too. Well, never mind then. I guess you lot can go that way. And it looks like this might get built. I can't tell. Oh, okay, that's just to slow people down. Yeah, that's just spikes and ditches and things. Ow. Rude. God, astromancers. Am I right? Okay, time to start summoning nonsense. Alright, 
Whenever you're ready. Good. Good. Okay, everybody in. <laughs> Alright, you know what? You come over here and help attack these Celestial Dragon Cross moment. Alright. Alright, I am actually still getting some frame rate drops. I'm still getting some frame rate drops. But it used to be just horrendous. It used to be so bad. Yeah, now it's definitely much better. And yeah, we should be through these guys in no time. Okay, come on. Come on, let's get them. It's the Celestial Dragon Guard there that are going to be holding out for a while. Yeah, I think we're alright. I think we're doing good. Not much longer now. Oh, yeah, they're breaking. Now let's get rid of these Jade Warriors. Got the peasants managed to somehow stay in the fight. Oh, they're dead. Sorry, Bloodthirster. I thought you had a little bit more time. Ah, uh, that's army losses now, though. Not army losses. Surprising. Surprising. Very surprising. Very surprising. Alright, get, get in there. Let's, let's destroy this barricade, yeah? Come on. It's barricade destruction time. Oh my word, another barricade over there. Cheeky little fiends. It's alright, I'm gonna throw some... Throw some folks on top of their heads and uh, have a giggle. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's enough to startle them. Barricades are coming down. <laughs> Demons summoned on their noggins. Yeah, it's, it happens. Decisive victory. Excellent. So once again, blood for the blood god. Marvellous. Okay, don't run that way. Why did you run that far that way? That was absurd, and you know it. Uh, so we are going to angle this a bit. So we can run like a little bit towards that. So it's going to be 9%. Uh, let's see, 37 to 20. Okay, so we need 11 if we were on the road. So yeah, I think I think that should about do it. God, I hope that's right. Ah, oh, see, I hate having to estimate percentages from this. This isn't the, why I hate the fact that it's percentage based when your movement isn't done in percentages. Um, because like, if I just knew, if I was along the road, that might be 10 movement. I just know to keep 10 movement, right? But when it's percentages, it's different every time. So it's just, it's really inconsistent. But anyway, Miao Yin is here. It's Miao Yin, guys. It's Miao Yin. The Storm Dragon. And the Mines of Nanya. And we have a million armies kicking around and we're rolling in money again. This is crazy. I love it. Also, Tox Farter, Decayer of Worlds. This is an interesting one. Okay, we can't actually reach. We'll have to destroy this anyway. But it means that if we can't quite reach Nan Gao, we can attack Tox Farter, get bonus movement, attack Nan Gao, and then attack the Rift Army, and then move on further, which is quite fun. I like that that's a thing. Anyway, uh, we're going to fight this. Obviously, it's Miao Yin. I want to see a duel between Scarbrand and Miao Yin. Because, yeah, she's going to be uh, pretty scary. She has missile mirror. That's going to be so useful against us. <laughs> uh, we don't use missiles. We use we use axes and our feet and heads. Anything, really. Anything. Just no missiles. All right. Oh, this is going to be a beaut, isn't it? It's going to be a beauty. And by that, I mean we're going to literally just, just uh, throw everything in all at once. Like an absolute lunatic. It's going to be great. Now, let's start summoning some nonsense. Uh, start with the big one. Uh, a bunch of crane gunners kicking around. Grand cannons over there. 
Where is Miao Yin, though? Oh, there she is. Let's go get her. Let's go get her. And I'm actually going to go for those crane gunners early. So. I hope she turns into a dragon. Oh, yep, turn into a dragon. Turn into a dragon, guys. She's doing it. She's doing it. And she's jumping down. Come on, let's go get her. Come on, you. Come on, dragon. Hell yeah. I mean, immediately, I'm sure she can tell that this is no normal demon army, right? We've just rampaged her. No more spells for her. And, um, yeah, we are charging in every possible direction. Scarbrand somehow isn't even in combat. Okay, we've almost, almost got her already. You know what? Horticorn. Horticorn. She is shattered and dead. Wow, that was a wallop. That was a hell of a wallop. Hell yeah. Alright, charge in, guys. Charge in. You need to kind of split up a bit, because this is ridiculous. This is an absurd... <laughs> an absurd army. Just charging in like this is insane. I mean, they've still got so much. Those cannons are going to do some serious work. Hey, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, they're going to do some work. Alright, let's go for that platform. Oh, actually. Let's go for them instead. Okay, it looks like our units are starting to split up a bit. Hard to say. Uh, ah, good. That's not a... Is that a barricade? Or is that not a barricade? Honestly, I'm not sure. Also, is it me, or are a lot of the barricades uh, unique as of patch 1.1? Like, are a lot of these looking different to how they used to? Because I feel like there's more variety on those than before, which is odd. I think they might have realized that people were really miffed about the lack of variety on those and decided to, like, double down on it. I hope that's the case. God, this is a mess. Where are you? I would quite like to get summons over here, although I do have uh, these guys. So I can actually shove these guys on top of them. But where is that cannon? Where the hell did the cannon crew go? That's weird. Is the cannon... Did, did the cannon somehow move right in? Like, where did it go? Did it retreat? That seems like a waste. Ooh, just, just when you guys needed to run, huh? Yeah. Yeah, unlucky. Unlucky, guys. Can you guys actually charge, though? Thanks. Uh, how are things looking over here? Great, actually. We are slaughtering everything. Mine have been going an absolute tear by the looks of things. I think that was Chewbacca. Just then. Did you guys hear Chewy? I heard Chewy. I definitely just heard Chewy. Yeah, we're cutting through these guys. I could not hear, hear a word of that. Yep. Sure you are, buddy. Did you did you guys catch that? I I didn't. Alright. Yeah, this is all that's left, really. See so if we get rear charge into this lot. And uh, I'll stop them from moving. Oh, no. I thought we'd get the rear charge. Didn't quite get it. That's alright. It's alright. Oh, Celestial Dragon Guards. Yeah, they could do a lot of work. Glad I got on top of them. Oh, that's army losses. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. Well played, boys. Well played. Well played. <laughs> yeah, restore your balance. <laughs> Perfect. I would just hear screaming and mooing. That's, that's all you hear. Screaming and mooing. Marvellous. So, terrifying mask of E. And we killed Meow Yin. I mean, it was a slaughter. Giant, giant celestial dragon, chopped to ribbon, ribbons. I mean, that final blow, it looked like we just punched her in the face so hard she died. 
Um, yeah, crazy. Scalbrand punches a dragon in the face to death. I mean, that's that's about as Scalbrand as you can get. Uh, so, let's have a look-see. Uh, let's blood for the blood god this. Good. Yep, terrifying mask of E, and very cold, still aloof. This exceptional general has put the Storm Dragon, her armies and war machines, to flight, inflicting a shameful defeat upon Cathay in the process. Expert charge defense, and our entire army just got plus three melee defense, which is ridiculous, because we don't really suffer any casualties anyway. We don't have time to. So, yay, basically. Yay. Uh, all right. Yeah, I guess we're attacking this now. My word. Uh, and hang on a moment. That's unusual. The ogres have fought their way in. Um, I don't think Cathay's doing so hot. I did suggest that maybe they weren't doing so hot before. But my god. Ogres right up there in what should be basically like a starting settlement for Miao Yin. Crazy. So, uh, uh, I guess we have to fight it, don't we? As simple as that. It's medium casualties. I can't afford those kind of casualties. No, no. We're going to have to fight it. And here we are. I mean, probably just charge in a few different areas, huh? And, uh, where's the other gate? Okay, I guess you guys are going for that gate, and you guys can just climb. Yep, do something like that. In you go. Yeah, you lot charge right in. I would have these guys climb the walls, but it just doesn't seem to do anything for us. Um, now let's start summoning some more nonsense. You know, as is tradition. Alright, done. Now, you can head over here, maybe go fight that guy. Yeah, just because you can. You charge in that way. And you can also go to tag that. Excellent. Oh, and we can summon some more folks back here, so let's do just that. I love getting on top of the Celestial Dragon crossbow with summoned units. Oh my god, we're in already. Okay, I guess all of you lot can continue. He breaks in so quickly. Yeah, and you can fight their lord. Brilliant. You can run in too. Let's go nuts. Alright. Wow, we almost killed him with just random bloodthirster. Because as it turns out, random bloodthirsters are incredibly lethal. Oh yeah, they're nearly dead. Oh, they're out of range. Oh, never mind. Uh, okay. Yeah, bloodthirsters. They're good. Oh, you guys broke in. Perfect. Uh, go fight them, I guess. Celestial Dragon Guard. Oof. It's gonna be... It's gonna be a lot. Oh, and there goes a bloodthirster. That's okay. We can get others. Oh, and there goes... That unit too. Yeah, hey, Celestial Dragon Guard. I thought it was. Otherwise, they'd be dead by now. Alright, you lot look like you're going to have a tough one. Yeah, there's quite a lot coming in down here. Like a lot running down this straight. Right, let's pause them in place so they can't attack. Uh, let's buff your melee attack, lads. I do those Jade Lancers. This should actually be a lot better now. The Jade Lancers. They should be performing much better. Uh, also, where is... Oh, there he is. Good. Uh, oh, where am I going to put you? <laughs> Alright, let's get you over here, and we'll see if we can summon something below. That'd be very cool. Come on. Come on, mate. Yeah, you can do it. Good lad. Uh, well, obviously I can summon these guys. They fly. Ooh, and I can summon them in too. Perfect. Just fill. Yeah, just fill this area with summoned units. <laughs> so good. 
God, I love the other summon stuff. It's so fun. I always loved it as um, playing as a Skaven. But when it's it, something that feels so much more significant, like, it's more fun. It really is that simple. Being able to summon something like a Bloodthirster is way more interesting than summoning a unit of clan rats. For very obvious reasons. But still. Obviously it's crazy powerful. But when a faction doesn't have spells, it kind of needs crazy powerful, doesn't it? I'd say so. I'd say so. That's more Celestial Dragon Guard. No wonder they're holding out for a while, huh? Come on. Not letting me... There we go. Well, they're broken anyway. And those summon units are going to break in a second. By break, I mean uh, disappear into the endless void of nothingness. That is... Um, their, their pocket dimension that they exist within. Okay, you are all sorted. Yeah, you keep doing you. Proud of you, boys. Let's go kill their lord. Let's go kill uh, Long Yong. Let's go kill Long Yong. Long Yong Silver. All right, think, I think things are going well. Just a hunch. I think we probably got this. Oh, hang on, still got Jade Lancers to kill. Very cheeky. Very cheeky coming in with your Jade Lancers. And yeah, they should be working better as of this patch, Jade Lancers. And you missed. Okay. Is that guy ever going to sit still? I mean, I wouldn't sit still if I was him. But it doesn't mean I have to like it. Come on, Scarbrand. Stop getting distracted with these little antics. Go get him. Maybe you can breathe fire on him. That's a fun trick. Nope. Just going to... Just going to bother his horse. Come on. You're, you're literally facing the wrong way now. Okay, breathe fire on him. He's going to get around a corner, isn't he? Okay, there. At least I get the satisfaction of setting his cape ablaze. Decisive victory. Okay. What next? Blood for the blood god? Yeah. <laughs> Do I need all these armies? No. No, of course not. Uh, but yeah, I don't know where to go now, because I don't know where the hell... Uh, so Nangao and the Mines of Nanyang are obviously all um, destroyed. Uh, I, I guess we're going to head to the Western Provinces. Oh, Taitsu is actually part of Miao Yin's empire. And of course a bunch of this stuff is too. Um, okay, so yeah, they've got a few bits. So Jiangxi is here. So yeah, they've got quite a bit in this area. But it seems that down here is all going to be her brother. Be Miao Yin's brother. Uh, so we're going to have to probably attack ogres, just so we can piggyback off that. Which is fine by me. Though what these guys got? They're the mountain eaters. They have two settlements. Where's your other one? Is it over here at all, or is it... I think it might just be over here somewhere. I don't think they're even in the mountains of Morn anymore. The mountain eaters, which is super weird. Very strange. Huh. Well, alright then. Oh, hang on. No, it's not the ones that are over here. Okay, I have no idea. I have no idea. Ah, oh, well. That's fine. Um, so, the primeval harvesters can take Nan Gao. I mean, look at all of these guys. We have so many. Most of them are the primeval harvesters, weirdly. Like, most of them are. Uh, we had a much larger pool of names, but for some reason, it's primeval harvesters all the way. Which is odd. A lot of those. I think maybe they ran out of names and it just hangs up on the last one. Do you think that's what happens? Is that why it feels like there's uh, so few names? Because once it runs its course, it just keeps spamming whatever was last instead of looping back around again. Is that a thing? Don't know. So, Toxfarter, Booby. 
Oh no, you died. Sorry, guy. Alright, so I can reach Nan Lee, or I can close this rift. Or I could take that rift to go over here and carry on destroying this stuff. I mean, Taizu is one that I, should just, I need to destroy, and that would put me in a good spot for my other enemies, but I could leave this open. I still have ten turns to be able to use the rifts. Oh, although that rift I will actually have to destroy if I want to carry on ping-ponging around here. So... Huh. Well, now I just don't know. Uh, so I can reach Nan Li. I'm not sure I'll be able to reach anything after that. Yeah, if I take Nan Li, I'm not sure about to reach another settlement. Because these are all fairly spread out. Not completely, but like, fairly. Although what I can do is stand here, declare war on them, and then I can bounce off. So this is actually sort of perfect. <laughs> this is so mean. Oh, and he's in March stance, and so is he. So I can hit these as well. Oh, and that's their other one. And of course we can hit that too. Um, oh my word. Alright. Alright. So we're leaving that rift open, obviously. Because it's right there. I don't know why we're leaving that open. I should probably stop that. I should probably attack that. It's it's whatever. Um, I don't need help. Don't worry about it. Okay, so... That I don't need to fight. So, blood for the blood god. Again. Cool. And then I can attack one of these guys. So, I'm not actually... Oh, I am at war with both of them. Yeah, I am at war with both provinces now. Uh, there's some more demon armies showing up. Jiao Min is right there. I can't quite reach him. But I can easily, easily... Um get there this turn if I want to. In which case, it'll be a single turn where I've killed Xiao Min, Miao Yin, Carl Friends, and Zali de Ketrin. Which is pretty awesome for one turn. So very tempted to do that. But what I think I'm going to have to do fight one of these guys, Lightning Strike, see if I can reach Tai Tzu, and then from Tai Tzu, attack the Shrine of the Alchemist, then probably to right myself slightly, attack whichever one of these is left, then Falco, then Shan Yang. Maybe. But what will probably happen, I attack uh, Chan Ho, and then I won't be able to reach Tai Tzu because it's slightly further away than I'd like it to be. That's more likely. <laughs> I really have no idea. But I'm going to try. We'll see what we can do. Uh, we'll see what we can do. I think I can line up maybe some more, but I think Taitsu, I just need to get rid of that because it's like in the corner. It's in like an annoying spot. Um, once I get rid of that, I can just let uh, these armies just pour across the remaining territory and uh, and call it a day for, uh, for, for Miao Yin. But Taitsu is just annoyingly out of the way. So if I have to waste a turn to attack that and then get back on track, attacking, you know, literally everything else of uh, the remaining other empires, that's fine. You know, that's fine. I'll figure it out. Although attacking Shan Yang might not be the way to go. I'm trying to work out what other settlements are around here. Because once I get to the Tower of Asher, I can't easily then push my way back into the rest of the territory without having to, you know, hit end turn again. Can you imagine? God, be ridiculous. But anyway, uh, we have so we have a lot to think about. But the turn is still going, and uh, the episode is not. So guys, if you enjoyed this, comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.